Fran Doidge, Coaching for Wellbeing. The second video of my series about the archetypes. If you've seen my first video, then you'll remember that we start off by walking along a country lane, seeing the birds and the bunny with a white fluffy tail. And we go across a field to a thatched cottage and walk along the hallway into the room with the wardrobe. Through the opening you go and you see the steps, the ancient stone steps taking you down, winding down. And at the bottom you find the river and the moonlight is shining on the river and the stars are above and approaching you you have your boat and there's a person there cloaked and the hood is over their head and they hand to you a wonderful flowing garment you put it on leaving your old clothes behind on the bank and he takes you, he, she takes you through the tunnel out to the light. And there you have the light of virtual reality, full of compassion, full of essence of pure potentiality. And you are that light. And I'd like you in that light space to come and see Osiris. He is the male aspect of strength. However, he also has the aspect of the hermit. He comes from a place of huge humility and peace and consideration. Osiris negotiates from the space of silence and peace of the hermit. He's able to negotiate with anybody who is wanting to maybe push you too far. He's able to stand firm. He knows what it is to command people around him, but they follow him simply because they feel safe with him, not because he's aggressive or firm. So he has a lot of female qualities. Feel his strength behind you. Feel his essence, his determination to do good for whoever is around. His ability to make a difference and his discernment, knowing deep within what it's right to do. People follow him because of his inner knowing, his strength and his ability to give you confidence. Feel him now growing within you. And then let him go and go back to your space of virtual light, of pure potentiality. And I'd like to introduce you now to Horus, the Redeemer, the Christ light and the Buddha. So from this place of inner faith, inner heart energy, forgiveness, compassion, knowing that when you hold somebody that you're not losing anything of yourself at all. When you hold somebody in that space of perfect purity of mind, then you are able to hold somebody in your heart, in compassion, in forgiveness, in absolute light and love. 
love overflows from you and you're able to give to every sentient being and you call in that love from the Christ energy or from the Buddha. You're able to do this for a, another person in your room, for your family, for your community, for the world at large. This is the essence of Horus, the Christ energy, the Buddha. You're able to give and to receive. So allowing yourself now to go back to your boat, to travel through the tunnel, to the river, to pick up your clothes again, to walk back up those ancient stone steps, to the room and the house, to walk across the meadow and to find yourself in your countryside lane again with the verdant green of nature and your bunny with a white fluffy tail and the bird singing. Enjoy these two aspects, these two archetypes and bye for now.